Hey, what's going on everyone? Soul here, and welcome to episode 3 of my playthrough of the Heart Gold Nuzlocke Randomizer. So in the last episode, we went through the top of Sprite Tower, Sprout Tower, excuse me, and had some very, very close encounters at the very top of the tower, but we made it through. And so now, um, yeah, I just spent uh, some time leveling my um, Pokemon up. Everyone's at now at level 16, aside from Miracle, who's at 15. And I've decided I'm going to go into Rock Tunnel real quick, because I, I, did, I didn't go in here. Um, so what originally happened was, when I first came into this cave um, in my in the last episode, my emulator basically glitched out, and it just made everything completely black. I couldn't see anything. So I reloaded an old save right before the cave. And then just basically ignore the cave. Now, I was planning on coming back here with Flash because, you know, light the cave up, no problem. Turns out that because the randomizer kicked in, my Flash isn't an HM, Flash turned into Eruption. You know, 150 base power um, fire move, which is cool, I guess. But I don't have Flash. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and go into this cave, just catch the Pokemon, who is everyone, the first one I see, and then I'm just going to leave. Immediately leave. Um, and hopefully we get through it without the, uh, emulator dying and breaking. So yeah, let's head inside. Here we go. Okay, good. So the Pokemon right away. Who is it? It's a Rimmeraid. Oh. Alright, well, let's put this thing to sleep. Okay, so Hypnosis, man, it's inaccurate as hell, but it's going to be great for helping me catch low-level Pokemon like this. Alright, hopefully he cooperates and we can just leave this cave immediately and not come back. Okay. So we caught Rimmeraid. Here we go. I probably not gonna level him up. I think I'm just gonna just keep him in my party just as just as a bullet sponge if need be. Um I guess we'll just we'll just name him Tuna. Okay, can we leave the cave without it dying? Okay, we made it. Whew, alright. So yeah, we're going to head back now, and we're going to go ahead and take on Faulkner. Should be, hopefully, leveled up enough to uh, get through without too much, too much problems here. Primate, okay. Might as well take him out real quick. I might do a jump cut here if I get another encounter. All right, here we go. Gym number one. Okay, here we go. Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe that a championship dream can come true, you believe, then listen. The grass is weak as flying type. Keep this in mind. All right, now let's see if this flying type gym is indeed flying type. Can't believe how ridiculously high this is. But from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Juggler Veronica. Okay. Psyduck is a bird, so... Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Now hopefully this Psyduck doesn't have something annoying like disable... Okay, good. You scratch. This can't be true! Alright, one trainer down.
Ho ho! He's some kind of big shot. We'll see. What happens if you get pushed around up here? Think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on. Bird Pokemon masters, huh? Okay. It says the guy with a gibble. By the way, this gibble, more than likely, I've been cautioned, has Dragon Rage. Which is a guaranteed 40 damage if it uses it. So hopefully I one-shot it. I did not. Right, it didn't use Dragon Rage, if it has it. Whew, okay. And then a Crookatot. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Alright, now before we first Faulkner here. Pop a potion. Get Miracle fully healed. Alright. Let's make a quick save. I'm Faulkner, the Violet, Violet Gym Pokemon. Violet. Oh my god. Let me try this again. <clears throat> I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Pansy versus Pansy. Damn. I mean, I know he's the first gym leader, but you don't got to throw him that much shade. Engineer Pansy. Sent on a mining. He was just talking about electric types. Clipping bird Pokemon's wings, then he sends out Minin. Okay, Growl's fine. As long as it doesn't do something annoying like Thunder Wave me, I'll be good. Okay, quick attack. I'll take that. Okay, first one down. Even got a level up out of it, too. Sweet. Plus four special attack. Oh, and I learned protect. Ooh. Nice. Heracross. A level 20 Heracross. Engineer Pansy. The wind is finally with us. And it is faster than me in those aerial ace. Okay, how much is that going to do? Okay, 16. This is a beefy-ass Heracross. Use Endure? Oh my god. Well, even if it has Reversal, that's fine. We can still fly! I guess Heracross could fly, yeah. As long as it doesn't crit, we're good. Alright! First gym battle, first badge! That was a huge level jump, though. 14 up to 20. Player defeated Engineer Pansy. I understand. I'll bow out gracefully. You know, come to think of it, Kiwi was telling me that this was not only a, like a randomizer, but it was also like a challenge kind of um, Pokemon, like ROM. And uh, yeah, I, I can see that with the first gym leader having a level 20 Pokemon. Oh, for pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. You didn't have a bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. Alright. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. <laughs> with that badge, Pokemon, including portrayed Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And I obtained the TM51. By using a TM, Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think for you act. A TM can only be used once. TM51 contains Roost, restores half the max HP. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. Oh, I like Azalea. Did I actually get TM51, or did I get some random thing? Oh, no, I did get TM51, but TM51 is Brick Break, apparently. So, all right. Hey, we got through our first battle, though. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad. That level jump was pretty pretty high but 
got through it. All right. Thankfully, Mesprit is is pretty pretty strong. Oh, Golf Professor Elm. Hello. So we've discovered something. The details are well. Can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My sister is at the Pokemon Violet City. Could you go meet him, pick up that egg? Absolutely. But before we do that, we are going to heal. Okay. So yeah, that uh, <laughs> that level jump, Falconer was. Uh, I guess using using his top shelf Pokemon there, level twenty. Yeesh. They're not really going on easy on uh, trainers, are they? All right. But yeah. Let's head to the Mart. Grab that egg. Now I wonder if it's going to be an actual egg or if it's just going to be like a random like item, pretending to be an egg. After you let Professor Elm receive a phone call, I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Soul. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. Kind of a weirdly worded series of sentences there. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you. Please take care of it. Sure. Okay, it's an actual egg. Good. Me, oh my, that egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take, please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. Sure, Miss Geisha. I'm sure this egg is very important indeed. Okay, so I think we're all finished in Violet City. Now, I should say that when I was um, leveling my characters or Pokemon up off screen. I did talk to the guy on the roots to the left of us to get Rock Smash. So I already have that HM in my inventory. So in the event that I need it, then I can apply it to somebody. Uh, but that's it. I didn't go down this route at all. I didn't catch anyone or do anything. I just trained up and that was it. So yeah, new route. Go make a quick save here. And then we'll see who the uh, newest member of our team is. All right. A magic heart. Hmm. Gyarados would be good as kind of like an HM slave kind of deal because he could learn strength. I'm sure he could learn rock smash. Surf. The only one that I can't use right now that I can think of off the top of my head is Fly. I, if I would have been able to catch that Knocked Owl um, back on the route right before Violet, that would have been nice. Oh, come on, Magikarp. Don't, don't do this. If I would have been able to catch that Knocked Owl, that would have been really nice. Would have been looking great. But... Fake out just had to one shot it. Okay. Okay, let's reho, please get in here and put this thing to sleep. Carp was caught. An underpowered pathetic Pokemon. It may jump high on rare occasions, but usually not more than seven feet. We're gonna name this guy 
Lummy. I think I remember him telling me he liked Magikarp. <laughs> so that's a good fit. Okay, cool. So we have Magikarp now. Wait up, what's the hurry? Get some good Pokemon there. Must be from the training again around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. Increase the power of Grass-type moves. Did you give me a Miracle Seed? Or did you give me something else? No, you gave me a Miracle Seed. Okay. Never be too sure nowadays. A seal? No, I guess I'll one-shot it. Okay. Um, I guess we'll level up Neo. Start working towards the Typhlosion. Alright, got us a trainer battle. I haven't seen a you around before. Think you're so you think you're pretty tough? I think that's what he said. Entrepreneur Chloe. An Azelf. Boy, the um the triplets are uh, out in force, it seems. So who's got Uxie? Go to get to Bugsy and he has like a level 40 Uxie. So it looks like it looks like the trainers and, and then an Ampharos. This kid's entrepreneur, entrepreneur Chloe's loaded. So it looks like the normal trainers and wild Pokemon levels are the same, but then the gym leaders have like Pokemon on steroids level wise. So that's equally exciting and frightening. You're strong. You are too, kid. That's true. You're not using the same tough Pokemon as everyone else. That uh, that Azov is pretty damn rare. I'll give you that. All right. Let's put no boards in. Okay. We need cut to go that way, so we're not going that way. There's an item there. All right, we're going for it. Oh my god, I turned the running shoes off and I still get into an encounter immediately. A sunstone. All right, we'll save after that. Uh-huh, yeah, and you know, pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, oh, right, I'll accept your challenge. Strong Man Noel. Oh. One of those, okay. One of those types of people. I got you. Hey, no judgment. You do your thing. actually did a pretty decent amount of damage, I'm surprised. Parish Song, wow. Yeah, okay, anyway. Before I get serious, get I lost. Oh, you're on a big journey to the sites? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Sure. 
be friends with a strong man in a Girl Scout uniform. I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. Oh, great. Okay, so there's a trainer down there. If I remember right, there's this is there's like two paths. You can either take the top one or the bottom. They both lead to the same spot though. That glance. It's intriguing. So I think what I'll do is I will get to right before I enter the cave at the bottom. Schoolgirl Mike. As I, as I was saying, I will get to the uh, cave and then I will go ahead and probably cut this episode. This might be, this episode will probably be a little bit on the shorter side compared to the last couple I've made. That water gun honestly do more than that. Otherwise I would have just switched them out immediately. Pointing. Joey, no. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Now I want that item up there. Nest ball. Oh, another item. Metal claw? Really? Is it actually metal claw? It is. Okay. Oops. Trying to avoid the grass as much as possible. Found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Oh god. And before it's like a Okay. Man, early level those those fixed damage moves are so scary. Later on, not so much, but early. Oof. Shucks, I thought I could win. <clears throat> Alright, Ryoho, you are up. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. Sailor Kate. I don't know who I don't know what to trust anymore. No one is no one is who they seem to be on this route. Try to rush things. Yes, Sailor Kate. Don't young people fish anymore? I guess you had a fish full if you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me. No, I'm good. Oh, my own kids won't even give me their phone numbers. I guess this is how young people are these days. Dang, I feel bad for that guy now. Oh, his kids won't even, like, won't even talk to him. Oh, that's fucked up. My Pokemon freshly caught. I think there's a, one of these guys has, like, he's supposed to have six Magic Harp. But, obviously, he's not going to have six Magikarp in this, so he's going to have, like, actual six unique Pokemon. Oh, boy. That's actually kind of frightening to think about. He's Pursuit, really? 
Good thing that wasn't Mesprit. Damn, that makes me think back to Route 1. I could have had that Scizor if he had shown up two encounters earlier. Oh, that would have been so nice, having the Steel-type. Faint attack. Uh, yeah, take out Growl. Okay, so I have a Dark-type move now. That'll be useful. Munchlax. Oh, he might have thick fat. Oh, he definitely has thick fat. All right, let's put in. Uh, let's put in Ryuho. Had the battle of fat cat versus fat bear. I'm not sure. Man, Fake Out is so good. Oh, so good. Sailor Scarlet. Splash? Alright. Let's heal up. Okay. Sailor Mark. Mime Jr. I wonder, does he have inner focus? Hopefully not. Or I just one-shot it. That'll work, too. Giraffe rig. Okay. Level 23 giraffe rig. Okay. Let's put that to sleep. That really didn't do much, did it? Hopefully he stays asleep another turn here. Or a crit. Crit would be good. Crit. Oh my. That hit really hard. Okay. Um, miracle it is. Baton pass? Okay, well, I can't actually fight this thing, so I guess we'll switch to Neo? tackle and then I think I'm gonna potion right here. So that giraffe is gonna come back in, pull a piss and vinegar and I wanna be make sure that I'm uh, ready for it. Nice crit. <sighs> okay. what I'm going to do, I'm going to put no boards in, and then, since Total Dial isn't really going to be able to hurt it, I assume, I can, I can heal him up. Okay, nice. Water gun. Yeah, that won't do anything.
Okay, so the question is, am I faster than the giraffe rig? If I'm faster than the giraffe rig, I can probably take it out in two water guns. If I'm not faster than the giraffe rig, then that could be a problem. I'm not faster than it. Chili. Okay. That's so that was a free switch. Okay, hopefully this thing hopefully the only move this thing knows is side beam. Okay, so far so good. Don't confuse. Okay. My god. The giraffe rig from Attack on Titan is finally down. <laughs> Calm collected. The essence of fishing in Pokemon is the same. Okay, wow. So, that could have been so much worse. My god, that thing was six levels higher than my highest level Pokemon. Okay, we already beat him. Yeah, this should be the slow poke tail guy. Just a million. You'll want this. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, man. Alright, we're gonna heal and then call it an episode. So yeah, so this episode we completed the first gym and got our first gym badge, which is pretty hype. And then we went down the next route and then we ran into the World Destroyer Giraffe Rig, which was absolutely terrifying. But uh, we got through it. And here we are now, right outside of this cave. So I think the next episode, what we will do is we will get through the cave. Uh, and then um, we'll get into Azalea and probably finish off Slowpoke well. Because I think the way it goes, it goes Slowpoke well, and then you fight Bugsy um, in that order. So we'll definitely get through the cave, we'll definitely get through Slowpoke well, and then we might even fight Bugsy. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, how long things up end up getting but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and as always thank you all for watching <laughs> this has been fun so far if not a little bit terrifying with the uh, level spikes and such so yeah um <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future but yeah take care everyone thanks again i'll see you guys again very soon I'll see you later oh and if you'd like to see more episodes in the future like subscribe blah 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 whatever you guys want to do i'm not going to push it but, you know, hey, it definitely helps the channel out. So, yeah. Take care, everyone.